Okay, welcome back to part four of this tutorial where I am making the basic game on Sploder if you're new. So in the previous part we added all of these objects, but you probably might argue that this game looks rather basic and really easy. Well of course if you really want to uh it would be nice to start off releasing this game and making similar levels like this. So add a new level and again go through the steps I went before, going through the playfield, background, etc. But for now, we're going to work on advancing this first level here, level 1. So, level 1 at the moment, like I said, is really easy. So, let's try and advance this more. We're going to introduce now one of these widgets, once again, the elevator. So, clicking on here, let's add the elevator to this platform. As you'll see, adding this will mean it will move up and down. But, why is it not moving up and down? Well, we're going back to this tool here. This is a tool what means they stay and do not move. We want to adjust this to this option, meaning it will slide up and down like this. Of course, warning, if you do put this option, it will be spinning around. And we don't want it to spin around unless you want to add difficulty to the game. But let's keep it to this. Of course, adjust the platform to uh, whatever size you want and that and when we test it out now the platform moves up and down and gives a bit more challenge to if you hit or miss this main platform of course this is just advanced your game a little bit and shows your more better understanding of some of the other aspects in this game like here so we could do this uh, to any other move this platform up and down move the spikes up and down but at this moment in time uh, this one platform is perfectly fine so we're going to kind of uh, make it more harder like making these coins move up and down or something uh, you could do all this by adding the elevator okay so let's add a new advancement onto this this is now introducing what is probably one of the most important key to changing the look of your game this is this g here which is the graphics panel by clicking this this opens a whole warehouse of user made graphics on the game and most importantly these are my graphics what i have made uh, you can if you notice create your own graphics in the graphics editor so uh, for this i'm going to use uh, common names in the tags uh, to add graphics to all of these objects to make them look uh, a bit different to the basic look of these. This is one step to advancing your game uh, to making it look different. So let's add the word platform. Uh, if I can spell it, platform. That's not spelled right, is it? Platform. Okay, so let's put the word platform. Uh, this will load, but uh, it will get some user interacted, uh, user made. Uh, T, uh, graphics pattern. Uh, so let's use one like this. Okay, so as you see, it will drag and drop onto the object. Now I know it doesn't look that good as the this image is stretched. That's the only problem with making a long object. But let's put one uh, what doesn't look that odd. Okay, so it still looks kind of odd, uh, but you can, of course, easily adjust this by making smaller platforms uh, like so and duplicating them together like this uh, and then adding these so they look more real like like this of course uh, you could do that as well but experiment around with these graphics because they can come in useful uh, but most probably let's forget the platform uh, the platform look at the moment because it doesn't look that good so let's go back and remove these graphics what we did put on here okay so let's add mainly graphics to the coins so type in the word coin and user generated uh, user created pattern uh, coins are actually pretty epic so let's add these user coins here as you can see it will fit whatever shape the coin is and this is the next step forward to making a better looking game so let's spread these out so they don't clash like so so when we test the game out now I look a bit better and a bit nicer uh, than they did of these basic coins here of course you probably want to do this now uh, for your character unless you want to keep this character's look to make your game unique but let's create the enemy uh, to a well-known enemy in games so how about Bowser 
So once again, go through all the Bowser characters. It looks like the first one's actually the most decent. And as you see, we've got small Bowser. Of course, if you remember the previous part, by clicking this yellow circle and dragging, you can make him larger. So as you see now, we have a bit more of an angrier Bowser. Uh, but he doesn't turn. Wouldn't it be normal if Bowser turned to the direction he went? This is where this option comes in here. Click the object one needs to turn and as you see it lights up. This is the animation choices. As you see here it is on normal mode. You are going to want to put it on walk mode. Walk mode means that it would look like the actual graphic is walking uh, here which is very clever. This just adds a bit more effect to the game. You can also just have flip mode which literally flips the Bowser graphic uh, unfortunately the wrong way uh, but just for this sake of the argument I'm going to keep it on normal mode uh, but this is just some of the options you have for the graphics uh, this option I don't actually know what really does as I've never used it but now as you see we have a Bowser character also in the game which adds a little bit of cooler and more uh, customization jump over and grab the coins of course there is many different graphic choices now of course you could choose to miss the graphics step out but graphics are not just for putting onto playable objects you can also have them as your background so I'm going to quickly touch on this as I will involve this in a later uh, tutorial for a more advanced game as this is more advanced stuff if you want to make a background you want to select really a rectangle shape and select this to this because you don't want the background falling down so just draw the square wherever you want this graphic background to be so let's say I'm going to create a cloud so as you see it doesn't look really much like a cloud but first of all adding graphics and typing in well the word cloud let's select uh, the best looking cloud now let's just have this one for now as you see we now have a cloud in the sky and it just adds a little more visual effects to the game of course duplicating it I will have more clouds however now if you notice the character will actually not go through these clouds he bangs his head on them as you saw there so what is we go to do now to get rid of that well this is where I just again quickly touch on as this uh, is more advanced stuff this is where we get involved in these options here these are one of your most important options in the game and for this we go to click this option what brings you to this collision layers pass through layers and sensor layers so this option we want the pass through layers and we go to click for this one a this means these are now under pass through a but of course if you want this character to pass through these clouds you also want to select him and click a as well as you see here this means now the character will actually pass through these clouds but also he's passing through this monster which is not good of course experiment with these pass through layers uh, as you see pass through a uh, here is on uh, you want to unselect that just so our character can actually hit him and be through the game but like I said this is more advanced stuff but you can add him just to show off to your friends that you can do more advanced stuff than they can Okay, so at this point, we've made kind of a semi-basic game with some of the original default colours and some customization of graphics. In the next part, I'm going to be introducing uh, making your own platforms instead of using these. Uh, but first of all, uh, before that, we go to involve these. These are just more ready built things like the turret car, what allows you to throw uh, balls and stuff like that but that may confuse you so we'll involve that uh, in a more later episode but for now save it and publish it and you can publish this small game to play where you have to try and dodge Bowser and of course you've got the nice background uh, where you can go behind of course this is where the layers gets involved if you want your character to go above the clouds so in front Click this layer and it will be above those layers. As you see, there is now above, although we died here. But anyway, have fun experimenting with the graphics. And I'll see you in the next tutorial on the next annotation. Goodbye from now.